my cancer was wiped out completely. And then uh, the adult stem cells found their way to the marrow of my bones, produced more bone marrow and blood, and I, have, I was physically reborn again. I had blood like a newborn child. And what did that mean for you? It meant life for me. I got to live, and I lived life appreciating every day. And three years later in May of 2006, when I went in for a routine checkup, they said, uh-oh, too much protein in your blood again. And it's not like food protein, you know, which a lot of people think, oh, if I quit eating meat, I'll be all right. That's not the way it goes. Too much food protein in the blood. And so they said, you can go on medicine, which you can keep taking every day, or we can do another adult stem cell transplant. And they said, if you have the adult stem cell transplant again, your life will be normal. You won't have to take pills and medication and so on. And how do you feel today? Oh, I feel great. I feel great. In fact, um, um, I'm resuming all my normal activities. I go dancing, I go walking, I just drove cross country and back with my husband again. Uh, I'm traveling to Europe uh, in a couple weeks and I'm wearing the shirts. Tell us about your shirt. Well, I don't know where I got the idea. I keep thinking, you know, that um, a power greater than I am is telling me what to do. And I figured I'd survive two adult stem cell transplants. I've had two miracle rebirths in my life and I need to let people know about it. So I had the shirt made at a local shop in my little village and I wear it and people still don't understand. They don't understand adult embryonic. They've heard the word stem cell research but they don't know what adult means. They think it's because I'm an adult that's why I have this. So I have to explain to people the difference between adult stem cell therapies that are 72 in number that have helped over 400,000 people like me and then there's the embryonic stem cell research with zero human therapies that has not helped one living human person.